Um, we'll take a few questions. What is the medical prognosis for um, The medical prognosis is prayer. Um, the reality of it is he's every day is, is depending on what's going on with his circumstance. Um, obviously, we don't want to completely share his medical condition for HIPAA reasons, but I will tell you that the, we need the continued prayers of everybody. Um, he's fighting for his life literally every day. He's in a medically induced coma, um, and we are hopeful and prayerful that uh, we can get the Damari Johnson we know and love. So, do you have any idea, uh, do they have cameras there? Was there an argument? What is the narrative about what happened more specifically? Which is one of the reasons I asked um, the DeKalb County Police Department to reach out to this family and give us more information. Um, while their son is fighting in the hospital, they're not getting the information to answer some of those questions of how, why, and the reasons. What we do know is that there were some fights in the skating ring that day by a group of individuals that was causing havoc. Um, we do know and believe that those individuals may have been involved in the shooting later with Damari. Um, we don't know about security cameras at Golden Glide, but based on the history that we do know about other shootings, other fights, other kids being beat up, we believe that Golden Glide at a minimum should have security guards, security surveillance cameras um, to answer those questions. We have, on behalf of this family, sent a certified letter to Golden Glide asking them to preserve all evidence, including surveillance cameras. Um, we know from our own investigation that, unfortunately, this is not the first time someone has been seriously injured at Golden Glide. And what this family wants is to make sure that this is the last time it happens. We haven't heard anything from the police on their investigation as it relates to that video. Do you know if there are teenagers or there are adults that are involved in that group? And that's the point. We don't know their age, we don't know their identity, but someone does. Someone knows those individuals. There were a lot of people there that night, and that's what we're asking. Um, that's why we're appreciative of the award rewards that have been given. And um, but we need people's help. Um, we, we have to step forward as a community to also provide and fight for Mr. Johnson. He deserves that. Um, not only does he deserve it, this family deserves it, this community deserves it. We need to be able to go to Golden Glide and skating rings or other events in our community safely. And the only, way that, the only way that can happen is if you have information, you need to share it. Is it believed somehow with this limited information that he was targeted or if it was random? We don't know why he was shot. We just know he shouldn't have been shot if you have adequate security deterrence out there in the parking lots in that area. So we're, we're trying to find out and that's why we're begging for the pleas and the information from the community. Can you give us a timeline? Did he go to the skating rink by himself? What time did he arrive? Approximately what time was he shot? Yeah, the, the, the first thing is, I don't know who reported it. This didn't happen at 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, it was spring break. Damari's out there with his family. He has cousins and other family members at the skating rink. Um, and his father was waiting for him and texting him as he was leaving the, in the parking lot, waiting for him. That's when the gunshots fired. What time was that? That was before 11 o'clock when the skating ring is closing. Oh, so they close at 11 p.m.? My understanding, they were closing at 11. Do you know for a fact they don't have security? I know for a fact that this young man was shot and killed. I mean, he's not killed, but shot, almost killed. And I know it was in an area that if you had adequate security and deterrence in there patrolling it, this shouldn't have happened. 
So my understanding, they have people inside, but I don't know what they're doing and not doing. So I don't know if they have it. Whatever they have is inadequate. We don't know anything about any shooting inside. We just know, unfortunately, shots was fired outside in the parking lot, and one of those, those shots, um, unfortunately, um, hit Mr. Johnson. The family obviously has retained you as a lawyer. Um, are you anticipating legal action against this game or anything like that at this point? Only thing I'm anticipating is for Damari to come home. We're prayerful of that. That's our number one responsibility. This family reached out to us to get answers, to help them in their investigation of what happened to their child. We have done um, our own investigation. We are trying to um, assist this family in their um, communication and contact with the police department. We did, though, to make sure that Damari's rights are protected, this family's rights are protected. We did send a letter to Golden Glide Skating Rink asking them to preserve information and evidence so that we can have answers to this question, these questions. Like I said, I think the number one priority for this family, and they've shared this from the moment they contacted us, is to help them find out what happened and why. And number two, their priority is making sure he can come home to them one day soon. So we ask once again, please provide information. Someone knows who these individuals are. Someone has information that can help the police in this investigation. And we ask that you continue to pray and support this family because um, every, every minute uh, he's fighting for his life and we need those. I noticed you said it happened April 9th. The information that my station had was April 10th. Yeah, I think that's based upon some report about 1 o'clock in the morning. It didn't happen at 1 o'clock in the morning.